Well, hello me again for those people who take um, English for a specific purposes and English language for. If you only take ESP, um, well, my name is Karin Ortiz. Um, as I was telling you in the in the video in English language for, the idea is to create this video in order to be a little bit closer to you. So, um, mm, what is ESP? <laughs> well, ESP is um, a field of general English, of English language actually, and um, in ESP the idea is that you be able to create different courses for different fields that we have in the market. For instance, a, at a school, at different technical schools, we have ESP. Uh, we have English for specific purposes, for instance, in, in the um, DNET. Uh, for building and electromechanics uh, maybe you are required for uh, to to work or to create or to design better to design a course for for nurses or for tourism or for lawyers so the idea with ESP is that you be prepared for creating, designing that. Not only designing the, the, the course, the content, selecting the contents, you are going to see how to select the contents, the material, the activities, according to the group of learners that you are going to have. Well, um, I think ESP is important too in your career because sometimes we are asked to to create courses and um, we do not pay attention to the needs that our, our learners have to take that course. Uh, I always say that many courses, for instance, if I want to travel to um, to an English speaking country and well I take a course that it's that doesn't fulfill my needs I'll give up that's it <laughs> yes because if I, if you are teaching me I don't know the colors the the, the, the common a greetings I don't like that it's not necessary for me what I want is to to speak in English in different situations so that's why ESP is here in this course and you are mm, blessed because in in previous years this course wasn't in the career and we as teachers English teachers are asked to create to design those those kind of courses and we do not know how and that's why sometimes the courses fail or are, are a failure so um, we are going to start discussing uh, what is ESP, the origin, everything related to ESP. At the end of this course, the, the aim, the main aim of this course is that you design a project for a course. So I'm going to teach you how to write a project for a course okay that's the idea well hope you like esp hope you enjoy and hope you learn a lot uh, from this subject 
See you soon, as I told you in, in the video for English Language 4, we are having these special classes uh, now, but we'll continue working with the campus when we return to face-to-face -face classes. So, if you have doubts, please let me know. Um, we are going to meet in Skype sections, so be prepared for that. Uh, Skype or Zoom, I'll let you know, yes? N these days we'll work with the campus, with forums, yes? But uh, I'll tell you when to start with these sections. So, um, the first thing that you have to do is to introduce yourselves um, so that we know each other virtually. Um, well, that's it, that's all. Hope to see you soon, hope to see you soon face to face and hope that Argentina and the world managed, succeed in fitting this, this illness, so this virus. Um, pray for Argentina and pray for the world and hope that we uh, manage this successfully. So, see you soon, bye bye, and if you have doubts, please let me know. Bye-bye.